In terms of RPGs, apart from Baldur's Gate 3 and whatever they may or may not add to that, for the rest of the year, there isn't too much going on. I am looking forward very much to Phantom Liberty, as well as the overhaul and updates to Cyberpunk. It had a very, very rough release, but to be perfectly honest, I sort of see a redemption arc here. You might recall if you played The Witcher 3 that both expansions, Hearts of Stone and Blood and Wine, were probably better than the actual game itself. And I fully expect the same thing with respect to Phantom Liberty. So I'm looking forward to that. That notwithstanding, I don't personally view Cyberpunk is an RPG. It's kind of more of an action RPG, if I want to use that term. No, there's other news, and that news is Rotrader 40k coming out December 7th of this year, so a lot sooner than most of us thought. Now, I own the beta, the early access, which means I will have the actual game upon release, and I'm kind of looking forward to it, but I'm also kind of on the fence. This is just an opinion, guys, so don't take it too personally. Whenever something's very human-centric, as the Warhammer universe tends to be in terms of the Imperium, yes, I know there are a lot of other things going on, I tend to lose interest to some degree. And the human-centric nature of the Imperium in conjunction with the cosmology of the universe, which I've delved into a fair bit, I understand the basics, I'd like to say, by now, it just doesn't appeal to me very much. And this is obviously subjective, this is just my opinion. There's somebody on my server who absolutely hates the mythology and or cosmology of the Pillars of Eternity universe, and I find that a bit baffling, but we all have our opinions about these things. That said, I have spent a little over 15 hours in the beta, and I would say, yeah, it was pretty fun overall, you can get into it, but I still feel that Warhammer in general is very niche. It will almost certainly never have the broad appeal of Baldur's Gate 3 or even arguably Pathfinder. I think the fantasy genre in general is just more accessible, more understandable, more approachable, but I am kind of looking forward to it on some level, and I'm probably going to play it. That said, the arrival of 40k comes with some other less than savory news based on my own research. I could be wrong on this, but it seems that Owlcat really has no interest anymore in producing Pathfinder games for the long term. Because part of me was overjoyed to hear the news about Road Trader, precisely because I thought, oh, once they finish up with this and the DLC, they'll move on to the next Pathfinder title, because Wrath of the Righteous is one of my favorite games of all time. And I thought, wow, maybe Paizo will give them the license to work with Pathfinder 2nd Edition. But that doesn't look like it's in the cards. It looks like Owlcat really doesn't have any interest in pursuing Pathfinder anymore, based on my own investigations. I could be wrong about that. And regardless, they're going to be preoccupied with Rogue Trader for the foreseeable future. So that's a little neither here nor there. But I have to say that, for me at least, Road Trader is a little bittersweet, because it means that Pathfinder is something we'll probably not get for a very long time or ever again from Owlcat. I guess we'll just have to see. So I probably will end up playing Rogue Trader. Unfortunately, I'm not a fan of the additional systems that Owlcat tends to add on to their games, Kingdom Management, Crusade Management, or in this case, presumably Rogue Trader Management. I prefer the adventure to the management aspects. So hopefully whatever tedious system Owlcat decides to add on to their RPG this time, there will be a mod that will allow you to just get around it, or alternatively a mod that will allow you to speed it up in the best possible way. I really don't like these management systems within Owlcat games. I never have, starting with Kingmaker, and they insist every time on doing this, and I'm not sure why, because I'm not in the minority in not liking these systems. I like RPGs, adventures, playing through it. If I want to play a management game, I can play a Paradox game, an RTS game. Unfortunately, it's not like I have a lot of choice in the matter. Anyway. Guys, let me know what you think about Rogue Trader. I know a lot of people are looking forward to it and are less on the fence than I am. Let me know what you think. Curious to see what you have to say. But regardless, if you do like RPGs, you'd be well advised to join my Discord server. There is a lot of discussion surrounding RPGs of all sorts there. I think you'll have a good time. And if you can engage in the usual YouTube chats of liking the video, sharing the video, subscribing if you're not yet a subscriber, and hitting the bell icon to be informed of my videos, it'd be much appreciated. And I'll check you out next time. Take care.